all poll tax by constitutional amendment? Can by constitutional amendment. Why don't we get some liberal to offer a constitutional amendment to uh, resolution? And let get Teddy Kennedy or somebody in judiciary to offer one right after this. And I would sure put them on the spot by letting somebody, of course you know better strategy than I do, I haven't thought about it, but I, I'd give them hell on that Puerto Rican thing. I'd make them back up and run. Well, I, get I wouldn't be responsible for it. I'd let Bobby give it to him in the Senate and I'd let the ablest man I had in the house. I shove it, shove it, shove it. Started that. Uh, I did that with the uh, Democratic Study Group yesterday. That's good. And uh, just told them to, you know, it's half a million, it's half a million votes in New York. We get it. And I think we ought to at least put responsibility on why it isn't in there. So uh, I told them. Now we didn't have it in our bill, did we? No, we didn't. Didn't have it in our bill. Why didn't we? Well, because uh, you want a bipartisan bill, Mr. President. I couldn't get uh, bipartisan support for Puerto Ricans. I can't now. But there's no reason why one of these fellows, Congress there uh, on both sides, can't offer it. And Nick, you know they're going to screw you to death on delay. They're just doing that. Dirksen is calling up and saying he wants to put off, put off, put off. They're not going to con consider this thing now before Easter. Yeah, I know. And this day and night steam, thing. Steam goes out of it. That's yeah. the problem uh, That's right. down there. Well, I got Manny is working harder than I've ever seen him work. I'll say that. When's he going to report? He's going to get it to the full committee. He's going to get it reported to the rules before the uh, Easter. Easter. Well, that's all right. That's, that's all right. Uh, Man, 
That's really all right. And then the Senate will get it reported, too. But yes. And it'll be just pretty much the way it is now. And I'm, I agree with you about the publicity on it. Yeah, they're making it look like that they're taking it over Dirksen every day, says it's a Dirksen bill. And the next day when they find something wrong, it's a Johnson bill. I recognize that. They just ship. So I'll I just... I'll be on Meet the Press this uh, Sunday, and I think I can do something there to help a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what I do on that Meet the Press. I just say any time you have a chance anywhere that the president, uh, since he first entered politics, has been trying to repeal a poll tax in his own state. He wanted to do that. He bought radio time. He and Mr. Rayburn had campaigned over the state. But he's not a lawyer, and every lawyer that he's talked to that he believes in told him he couldn't repeal it by statute. Right. He has voted against repealing it by statute all through the years. So they say he's voted against it 13 times because lawyers say he couldn't do it. He told me to try to see if there's any possible way to do it. I, I, I didn't see it. I was afraid it would handicap the bill. Uh, but... Uh, be tragic. He, he he authored the constitutional amendment. I brought up this uh, this constitutional amendment thing. Got it to all organized. Got people to sign it with me. Got a majority of them, and uh, he really got the constitutional amendment thing through. Now, uh, if they can do it by bill, I sure would love nothing better because I have carried the heavy weights on my shoulders all these years for not being able to repeal poll tax by statute. Now, these northerners, they, they just jump up and repeal it every minute by statute. They don't care how the vote was. Well, these are the same fellows two years ago were agreed that you couldn't do it by statute. You know, it's, uh, well, they that? don't have to take the responsibilities for it. And uh, I, think, uh, I think I do. I think I have a responsibility to keep something constitutional. I got you. I gave in and just uh, agreed to... Uh, get raped by your crowd, uh, Wisconsin. So I'm going to put you a man, the governor, whatever his name is, this ex-politician. I don't want you and Ramsey ever talking to me about standards anymore, though. He came, over, he came over there. <laughs> and, uh, Mr. President, yeah. they're very high standards. Yeah, the hell yeah. Baby. It's, yes. this, <laughs> this defeated politician rejected by the people who's gutting at me all the time. Uh, what's his name, Governor? Reynolds. Governor. Reynolds. That's not a very high standard. I can give you a bunch of ex-congressmen if you want them, ex-governors. I've got Matt Welsh in Indiana, I've got John uh, what's Dalton in Missouri, I've got Rosalini in Washington. And I'll just feed them to you boys if you and Ramsey like them. Mr. <laughs> President, is a slight misunderstanding here. <laughs> well, now, have you got your department? What, have you done any more work on our tax man? Yeah, i got two people. Uh, I'm looking pretty closely. I'm going to talk to somebody on antitrust this morning, uh, Don Turner from Harvard, mm. who uh, probably the outstanding younger man in the country. He had a heart attack about three years ago and wasn't interested in 1961 for that reason. I think he might be interested now. Can't you get me somebody in the Midwest or South or West besides all these Harvard men? Do you know honestly that nine men out of ten that I name are Harvard men? No, I didn't. They are. They're just everybody that Macy sends me. I have a man. I cut about six of them back yesterday, just one right after the other. Now, I know it's a hell of a good school, and I'm for it, and I don't mind them having 30%. But I want California. Uh, they are just raising hell. They got the biggest delegation up here. Well, we I never can find anybody real good from California. Well, I get a man for tax from California that uh, uh, I think might be real good. I think we'll have some political backing up there. We've got to have Brown and the delegation, anybody in California. They got their feelings hurt. They're mad. They thought we sent Tapir out to run against them. And they thought that lost them a seat and screwed things up. And I suspect it did. We had nothing to do with it, but uh, we get the blame for it. Uh, they had Undersecretary Interior. We, he quit. They wanted a job. Udall took a man from Idaho. Well, there's a hell of a lot of difference between Idaho and California in a convention and in an election, too. So they're mad about that. Then I get ready to pass my education bill. About half of them get sucked. And uh, they say, well, if we don't want the 40 votes in California, the hell with them. Yeah. We want to go to Idaho, get the one they got up there. And uh, that's the shape we're in. We're in the same shape in Texas. They get mad at us. We haven't got anything. Ramsey Clark's the only guy. They got nobody in the cabinet. They got nothing. But we can get by with them. But we've got 
We've got nothing in the West. Dick Daly doesn't get much. You're supposed to be his man, but I don't know how simpatico we are. Uh, he thinks that uh, Douglas kind of, we play with him a little, but nobody else. We, Wisconsin gets the two states that get everything, Wisconsin and this goddamn Harvard. And I guess because Wisconsin's got a good public school, so I'm going to start my library, and I'm going to take 100 people a year from over the country, the United States, and give them uh, four-year scholarships. Just about got all they can eat and wear during that four years and make them be straight A's and then turn them out of Texas every year. That's what, it, my, what I'm going to do when I get out of here. Just go back there and teach, teach them, and make the University of Texas finance it, and they've already agreed to put in $18, $20 million. That'd be great. And that's, we're going to turn out some people. I think that's why Wisconsin's got all these damn fellows, because they must have a good school. They've got a good public school system up there, and then they've got good university. Well, I look at California, and then when we get somebody that looks good, let us call Brown and give him two or three and say, here's what they're talking about, and let's talk to the delegation, and particularly on underlings for jobs and, All right. and assistance. In the All right, because I have got there is a good man, a couple of good men in California on the, on the tax. I think you ought to propagandize your little uh, uh, folks that you keep on leash over there all the time. I recognize your interviews every day or so, Mary Mottenberg's. I think you ought to propagandize them on excellent. Have them out your house some night and have Ramsey there and have uh, Fred Benson there and have uh, your young man that you're bringing in yourself. This uh, Colorado one looked like good enough for me to announce it. was your appointment, but uh, you look like a damn good fellow. Ramsey talked to me about him, uh, that young yes, man. Good, yeah, reason. And I would just... I just propagandize the hell out of them. I believe 90% of this stuff's image. We don't ever do that. I've, I've named top men. I've got more Phi Beta Kappa than anybody in the country, but we don't let it out. So they give us an image of a wheeler dealer political thing, and I think you ought to help turn that and show that you brought young, practical lawyers that can try lawsuits. At the same time, we're up at the top of their class. Here's Ramsey Clark from the University of Chicago, but he tried it day in and day out with the Texas sheriffs and the roughest of them all. And build him up as a rough uh, lawyer, but uh, he's meek and mild as a mouse. And then take your Fred Benson in Kentucky and then move into your young man from Colorado. And then you got a Eddie Wise from New York at Columbia. And, just get it where you've got excellence written over every brow in that department. And have your Rosenthal give him. The one thing we want is excellence, equality, equity. We're just three E's. This is a three E department. Excellence, equality, and equal. And uh, I would just make them start leaking right quick. And this Katzenbach is a modest, shy guy. But he's uh, he won his spurs with Johnson himself. He's got never been a president, attorney general, more closer unless it was the Kennedy brothers. Johnson supports him in any damn thing he wants to do. And where's what he's done? He's moved in there in 12 hours. He had the man arrested. This woman kill him. And in 12 days, he had an indictment. And he's not messing around with this stuff. And he's not getting on any flagpoles, showing his tail. But he's while he's handling both the House and the Senate, and while he's uh, doing all these other things. Uh, 12 hours you had him arrested, 12 days you had him indicted. And I'd just have some columnist doing that. I'd get that little Rosenberg, whatever his name is, and just get him about three assistants working on these damn columnists. And, and uh, excellence and equality and equity, that's what we believe in. We don't play any politics. They use paper in the country, Los Angeles time. We call it, we see them. We don't harass people. We always welcome uh, uh, both sides, but we we right down the middle. And if you're innocent, you sure want to be tried by Katzenbach. If you're guilty, you better get you another court. <laughs> Let's work on that. Let's get some of this political image off of us. We're not seeking anything. We're not running for any office. You don't ever have to be elected to nothing. You already made it. And uh, uh, whatever you want to do, you can do from the court on in and out. But let's, during this next three years, Let's just show them that, uh, that we got a good, fine operation. There's never been a better Justice Department anywhere. Now, on this bill up there, I want you to get to, if it's going to be the Johnson bill, I want you to say we agree with this. The President, I've talked to him about this. Uh, he wanted to do this in the beginning. I had some doubts. 
and uh, uh, we have got a compromise. Let's just don't let them do it by themselves. Though. What they do, everything they do by themselves, it becomes their bill. If it's any good, if it's bad, it's mine. Now, I want to protect it. Tell Dirk, we're willing to go with him. Mind with him every day, and you don't mind with him every day. You don't mind 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 every day.